Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> well, I took a couple days off from filming on all of my channels. I have been very, very sick the last couple days, um, for those of you that didn't know. So I decided that I would take off a couple days. Um, but I went to bed early last night. I woke up at like 4.15 in the morning. It is currently 9.47 a.m. and I have already filmed a drama video. I have already filmed a review video. And I'm trying to film all of my videos early so that um, I can maybe rest this afternoon and then I am going to a much needed meeting with my good Judy Tani Jean tonight. So um, I've had videos that I have wanted to film on all of my channels for the last couple days. So I'm very, very excited um, about doing this video today. Uh, I actually have several videos specifically for this channel that I've been wanting to uh, do. I wanted to talk about the fact that Yes, I did watch, in fact, all 12 Friday the 13th movies um, last week. I finished them very, 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 very early on the morning of the 14th, but I did finish them all. I watched all 12 of the horrible Friday the 13th movies, and I am continuing to watch the Halloween movies. Uh, for those of you over here that are watching the 13 Halloween movies uh, with me for the month of October, and I plan um, going forward every month to pick a series of movies to watch. So um, I'm kind of thinking next month, I've been thinking about like the Godfather movies. I was gonna try to do the Saw movies this month, but I'm thinking maybe next month as well. Um, I have a couple ideas for next month. So anyway, if you have suggestions for movie series to watch in the comment section below, let me know. Um, so let me tell you a little bit of how, I also have a Amazon haul, a huge Amazon haul. I've been purchasing so many things, clothes, shoes, uh, lip glosses from Amazon. Um, I still have a few things coming today, so I want to wait until those come to do that video. Because I always do that video and then I turn around and like, as I'm uploading it, like Amazon delivers another package. But let me tell you what happened. So... Um, a couple days ago, I cleaned out um, our entire bathroom. I went through all of my lip products, my lip scrubs, my lip glosses. I went through all of my skincare products, all of my hair products, everything, and anything that was expired or old or I didn't use anymore, I got rid of and cleaned out my entire bathroom. So the only products I have up there right now are products that I actually use. So um, I was like, okay, I need to start purchasing some new products because <laughs> some of the products that I loved that I used to use and hadn't used in a while um, were expired and or uh, was down to the very bottom of the barrel of it. So I thought, okay, I need to buy some new products. I also am reviewing um, lip glosses on my Peter Mon channel. I'm gonna do a series over there. I'm actually, today I'm gonna be posting two videos, one very long video, and then I'm also gonna do the part one of the hunt for the perfect lip gloss um so uh come over there and watch out if you want to see me because y'all know i love lip glosses the one i'm using right now um that somebody sent me hold on a second is called da -da 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 -da. fit glow beauty and i like it it's not bad but it's actually uh i never heard of the brand before it, it's not it's just not not the best lip gloss i've ever had in my entire life um People ask me all the time, they're like, do you really use lip gloss off camera? Yes, I really do always carry a lip gloss with me in my bag. And I also, I'm like, where do I put this? I also always have one right next to my computer. Um, I, I use lip gloss a lot. I like it when it has a little bit of a tint or a color to it. Um, not like bright red, but like a little like of a pinkish color to it. Um, so, and, and then I like this, it, it's the smell and the applicator is very important to me too, um, of how it goes on. But anyway, I'll talk more about that in that video. So I knew that there were some things that I wanted to buy. I wanted to go to Lush. Um, I, I know that Lush has been problematic. I think it's Lush UK that has been problematic. Like I think Lush, the US Lush is not problematic, but I could be wrong about that. Please put it in the comment section below. So there were some Lush products that I wanted to buy because I, I love the Lush products. Um, and then I also wanted to go to Sephora to buy some lip glosses and I was gonna wait until Cousin Fun Day this week with my cousin Caroline 
On Sunday, um, I was still feeling sick, but I was feeling well enough to go to brunch. Back in the day, my husband and I, we would go to brunch, and then after brunch, we always go to brunch at the same place, Cafe Paddock Show in Indianapolis, and it's right next to uh, the Fashion Mall. And we live close to the Fashion Mall and to Cafe Paddock Show and everything like that. So we used to, back in the day, we would go to brunch, and then long before long before the YouTube days. And then we would go to the mall and we would shop and I would get like a candle at Anthropology or go to Sephora and buy like a lotion. My husband got, um, what's that brand, Peter or something. He got the, 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 the eye masks because he loves those eye masks. And he's been trying them and he really loves them. So uh, we would, you know, buy this, buy a t-shirt here, buy, you know, something there or whatever. But just walking around the mall, it was kind of like, you know, a fun day for us. And so... When we were um, at brunch, we were leaving. When we were getting ready to leave brunch, I said, "Do you want to go to the mall for a little bit? Because I want to go to Lush. Because I thought, well, I can get this stuff now, and then I don't have to wait till uh, I see Caroline this week." And so Alex was like, "Yeah, sure, because I want to go to Abercrombie." My my husband had spent four hundred dollars at Abercrombie on hoodies. <laughs> okay, he's like, "But there's a sweater that I think I want in there. This cardigan sweater that he ended up getting. It was really cute." The thing about Abercrombie is that for years, you know, they had their name blasted all over their stuff, and also. Like an extra large would actually be a small. And so I kind of fell out of love with Abercrombie. Their stuff today is so cute and so well made and they don't have their name like on anything. So we went to Abercrombie. Here's my Abercrombie bag. We went to Abercrombie. And then we also went to um, Sephora. And then, ah! And we also went to Lush. So let me get a little bit of a thumbnail. I was carrying this bag, and this bag was so long. Alex goes, just carry it like a normal bag. I don't even know what that means. This bag is like... I don't even do this. I'm probably just... I could just probably just put it on the table like that, couldn't I? So... No, that doesn't really work. That's going to be my thumbnail. Okay, so first let me show you what I got at Abercrombie. So, for those of you that have seen my Whitney Houston t-shirt that somebody sent me in the mail, it is like one of the most comfortable t-shirts I've ever had in my entire life. Unfortunately, you're supposed to wash these t-shirts that have like graphic prints on them, like inside out. I was not aware of that, and so most of it washed off. But still, it was like the most comfortable t-shirt. I love it. So one day, I don't know why it occurred to me, but I was like, I should look and see where this t-shirt is from and, and order more of them. And when I looked in the tag, I was surprised it was an Abercrombie shirt. So I was like, did somebody just buy like a plain Abercrombie shirt and put this Whitney Houston thing on there for me or whatever? That's what I thought, right? Because I didn't think Abercrombie would ever have a Whitney Houston t-shirt. Well, actually, Abercrombie has an entire line of graphic tees, and they're so soft. I will tell you, they are expensive. This t-shirt, I just bought this one. I bought like, I bought a Beetlejuice one and I bought a Grateful Dead one. The Grateful Dead t-shirt has like pumpkins and stuff on it. I got so many compliments on it, you guys. And they're actual like vintage tees. Like the Abercrombie one that has like the, the, the Grateful Dead. It's an actual like old Grateful Dead printed t-shirt. I should have brought it out here to show you guys, but I just washed it. But these are $40 each, but you guys, they're so fantastic and they last forever. They have a lot of car things going on right now. So this one that I bought, hold on a second is um, I got, get them an extra large. And this one says, a legend must weather many storms. And it has a Jeep on it, a vintage Jeep. It's like a vintage Jeep t-shirt. I think it's so cute. I might wear it to my meeting tonight. And my husband drives a Jeep. So I thought that would be cute. And then there was this cardigan that I wanted, but they didn't have it in my size. And so I was looking through their sweaters. One of my oldest sweaters that I still have to this day <laughs> is an Abercrombie sweater that I literally got when I was like my first year sober like 20 23 so 22 something like that so I saw this sweater and this sweater was expensive you guys this was I think it was $80 hold on a second yeah it was $80 I think it's such a beautiful sweater and I thought with like a pair of like big chunky boots and jeans or cords or something I thought it'd be so cute and both of these things fit me perfectly I'm like loving the fact that I can actually, um, that I can actually wear clothes again. And I have to tell you, the other thing I cleaned out other than my bathroom was my, cl my closet and everything that I had, all the clothes I had in the basement. So I went through my entire closet. 
because my husband would go in there every single day and he would pick out like a cute outfit or whatever, or shoes, the whole nine yards. Everything in my side, because we have this big walk-in closet, everything on my side of the closet was nothing that I ever wore, nothing that fit. And I was like, I'm so tired of this. And six months ago, I went through and I got rid of a lot of clothes. I, I just got rid of, first of all, I've gone through every piece of clothing that I have in the, my final load of wash is in the dryer right now. Um, and it's just a bunch of shirts to like hang up in, in the closet. I've gone through every piece of clothing of mine in this, in, in, in our laundry baskets, in the, in the bathroom closet, in my closet, walk-in closet, down in the basement, because I would keep all my clothes in the basement, and then I would go down there, and I would just like pick out a jean, pair of jeans, t-shirt, you know, sweatpants, hoodie, whatever, and that would be what I would wear for the day. So all my clothes were really like, I would wash them, you know, fold them, and keep them in the basement. I was like, I want to be able to go into my closet and just be able to pick out a cute outfit, because I'm now being able to start fitting into some things, because I'm like thinner. I've lost some, like, well, I've lost a lot of weight, like 35, 40 pounds. So everything in my closet, I've gone through everything. There are no clothes in the basement anymore except for the ones that I'm washing down there right now are drying. And everything is hung up in my closet. There's nothing in the bathroom closet that needs to be washed. Every piece of clothing is either bagged up to be donated, and there are 16 bags. I, I bagged up 16 huge, ginormous, extra strength garbage bags of clothing to donate. So I was like, I gotta get some new stuff. And I've been buying sweaters, and I've been on Amazon. I'm gonna show that on my Amazon haul and stuff. So then we went to Sephora. And I was looking, so I had put out on Instagram, what lip glosses do you guys want me to try? Now, I'm just going to go through these real quick, and then I will show you, um, I will show you the ones that I have, I'll try them out on my uh, other channel. But the first thing that I, I got, well, this was actually the last thing I got, but I love this so much, and I had just gotten rid of my, um, hydrating face mask. So, at night, I used to do this whole like facial routine. It really calmed me down, and then I, I felt like it helped my skin a lot. I would do, I would wash my face with the Tatcha um, rice uh, face wash, and then I would um, put a hydrating face mas mask on, the Laneige lip mask on, and then I would spray my face with like the Dewy, Tatcha Dewy Mist spray, and some other things I would do, and then I would um, spray on like the, the Twilight Spray from Lush after I'd taken like a shower and put on the Sleepy Lotion and things like that. It just kind of relaxed me. So I was out of any kind of hydrating um, face mask. I like the Belief one a lot, but it smells very cosmetic. So my favorite one is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Night Treatment. If you can see it or not. Here, let me, if you can see it. I love this so much, you guys. It smells so good. I have my receipt here. I'll tell you how much it is. Hold on a second. The, it is, where's it at? This was $40. Okay, this lasts forever though, you guys, because you don't need to use that much of it. It comes in this little container. I love this so much. That was the first thing that I bought. Then I um, bought, the rest was all lip glosses. Well, yeah. So, she gave me a sample of something in here. What'd she give me? Or maybe she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, so then the next thing I got was, and some of these lip glosses were expensive. I bought a lot on, um, I bought a lot on Amazon. So then I got this one, and this is the Lawless lip gloss. I have to turn this down and show you guys. A lot of people recommended this one to me. This one is, was $26, and it says, clean like you've never seen. This was a brand people recommended to me. And then the Glossier was a brand, I mean, I love Glossier products anyway, but a lot of people recommended this to me. This one was $15. And then, oh my God, so many people recommended Summer Fridays to me and I never heard of their products before. So I got this Summer Friday and this was $24. And then the milk, pro and I have a couple milk products that I like. I have this like, um, it's like this blush, but I just use it like for my like cheeks under my eyes. Like it's kind of like this pinkish blush. I don't wear typically a lot of makeup. I don't have anything against men wearing makeup, but I just, it's, I'm not very good at it, <laughs> to be honest with you. I've tried to put concealer under my eyes, but I can never match it. And so I just don't, but I sometimes wear like clear mascara, but I really just use like a lotion on my face, like a skin lotion on my face. Like right now I'm using the Disco brand. Um, well, I'm almost out of it, but I'm using the Disco brand, um, like, sunscreen for my face when I go out in the day, and then I spray, like, the Dewy Mist spray on there. Sometimes I use, if I go out at night, sometimes, like, to a club or something, I might put on, like, some clear mascara, but every once in a while I'll use, like, the milk, uh, if I feel like I'm, like, really, like, my skin is, like, really pale and stuff. So, I have high hopes for this lip gloss, and this lip gloss was $26. 
Then everybody was telling me that I should try this Sephora brand. And the woman that helped me in there, Nina, she's fantastic. I love her at Sephora at, at Fashion Mall. She has like been in there for years and she is always so, so helpful to me. And I love her so much. And she told me this is really great too. And I think this is called Slay. Is that the, what, it's, what it is? Why can't I see what it's called? No, this is the plump effect from Sephora. This is the, okay, hold on a second. This is $13 and it's called Starstruck. And the last one that I got is the Sephora brand as well. And I saw this in the drawer when she opened the drawer and I was like, what is that? Because this is like the perfect like size of lip gloss that I like. A lot of people are asking me, like, I don't use Lunar Beauty anymore because I don't support Manny MUA, but his lip gloss I loved. But his lip gloss is about this size. I just think it's like a perfect size of a lip gloss. I don't want to open it and use it yet because I'm going to do that on my video. So this one was, and this is, I think, the it's called Slay. Yeah, this is Slay. And this was $12. So pretty good pricing on those. All right. And then... We went to Lush, and I spent over $200. I can't believe it. Um, but I love the Lush product. So the thing we went there for was this cup of coffee uh, face mask. It's literally like, and I will tell you how much these things are. This is literally my favorite face mask in the entire world for in the morning. Like, it really does, like, wake your face up. And I was down to the very bottom of this. So I got this. Oh my God, it literally smells like a cup of coffee and it's real grainy and it has like grains and they're like cup of coffee. I don't put it in my beard because it, it's hard to get out of my beard, but I love this so much. Um, and the Lush products are expensive, but I really, really believe in them. Um, hold on a second. Let's see how much this is. Why can't I find it? Okay, so this was 30, that was $33. And then I just, oh, she, get that, she gave me a sample in there. So then I, I need a new lip scrub. I have literally no lip scrubs left. So I got the Mint Julep Lip Scrub, which I should try it. I haven't used the lip scrub in forever. This is kind of dry, actually. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, it tastes really good. It tastes very minty. Well, obviously because it's called mint julep and this their lip scrub was called or is 1350 a lot cheaper than the jeffree star lip glosses okay and then they have these candles so for those of you that don't know i love this lotion and it's called sleepy and it has like lavender in it it's purple i think i haven't opened this one yet. yeah it's purple it's like lavender color it's weird because it smells kind of like a mix of like did you guys know that incense? It's called Nog Champa. It smells kind of like that incense and lavender. And it's fantastic. So I love this lotion to like take a shower and go to bed at night. And then this is the body spray, the Twilight body spray. That can also be a room spray. And it is basically the same thing as Sleepy, but they call it Twilight. And the room or the body spray is, hold on a second. $28 and it lasts for a long time too. Then when I went in, they must have just recently in the last couple months gotten candles because I've never seen that they have candles before and they have these sleepy candles. So I was like, well, I have to get these. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells just like the lotion. I will tell you these candles are kind of expensive. I think they were like $18. Yeah, they were $18 and I got two of them. So I got both of these candles. I think they're so pretty too. All right, and then they have this new line of stuff. Pull all my stuff out here. Hold on a second. Oh, she gave me two samples. Oh, three samples. She gave me Honey, Wash My Hair. I already have that one, actually, um, but I love it. And then she gave me Karma. These are all bars of soap. I almost bought this Karma in there. This smells like patchouli oil. The Honey I Shrunk the Kids smells like honey. And then, what is this one? Sandstone. I haven't smelled this one before. That's what it looks like. It smells kind of like lemonade a little bit. I like that. 
to try those. Okay, so then I got um, this cool eye shaving cream because I thought, I've been using the Artist Shaving forever and I thought, let me try something new. I don't think it really has much. I smelled it in the store, in the tester. I don't think it really has much of a smell to it. But... I want to try something different. Okay, so I have to have kind of a smooth shaving cream because I put it here, here, and here. And so this is like, seems very smooth to me. It's almost kind of like a lotion and I thought that would be probably easy. Like the art of shaving is like that too. Oh, it smells really good. What is that smell? Menthol cream. It doesn't smell... It smells like really earthy. It doesn't smell like menthol -y at all to me. And this was, hold on a second. Why is it not showing up on here? Receipt. Oh, this was $17. That's kind of pricey for that, but it'll probably last for a while. Okay, then my husband was eyeing this stuff, and so I got it because I, I knew he would like it. And I thought this would just be like kind of fun on a day that you're kind of feeling down. And it's called Snow Fairy Shower Gel. And it smells like cotton candy, you guys. These, well, here, I'll just open the lotion because I got this, the, the shower gel. Hold on, I'll open it because I want to put it in the shower as soon as I take this stuff upstairs. So the shower gel is, where is it at? $23, but these shower gels, if you've had them before, they last like a really long time. They actually have this size in the shower gel and they have a larger size as well. So this is like the medium size, but it lasts forever. It'll last like for four to six months because you don't need a lot of it. Yeah, it smells like bubble gum or cotton candy or something. It's fantastic. And then I got the Snow Fairy Lotion. I love these tubs of lotion that they have too. They're really easy to scoop out. And the Snow Fairy Body Lotion was $28. And I know that sounds like a lot for this, which it is, but like it really lasts like a really long time. And it's pink too, look at this. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it smells like bubble gum. I swear to God, I could spend like $1,000 in Lush. I love their products, their products are so fun. So that's everything that I got at our brunch shopping haul. And um, tomorrow I'm gonna do the Amazon, hopefully the rest of my Amazon stuff will come. Tomorrow I'm gonna do the Amazon, uh, bom, bom, bom. I'm gonna do the Amazon haul tomorrow. So come on over, come on over, come on over baby. So come on over and let me know what you think, all right? So I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow, bye.